All right, but be careful if you plan to hit the road this holiday season. And a word of warning, I-10 is now one of the deadliest highways in America. Make that the deadliest highway in America. That according to the National Highway Safety Administration. Paul Murphy has some tips now to help you arrive alive. Nearly 50 million people are expected to hit the highways this Thanksgiving. AAA expects Wednesday afternoon to be the worst travel period nationally, with trips taking as much as four times longer than normal in major cities. The biggest thing you want to do is you want to allow yourself enough time to get to your destination with a little bit of time to spare. According to the National Highway Safety Administration, I-10 is the deadliest highway in America when it comes to holiday travel. Statistics show some of the most dangerous stretches of the highway in Louisiana are in Jefferson and East Baton Rouge parishes. Kenner Police Sergeant John Cryer says you need to put the cell phone down and focus on driving. You're going to be sharing the road with a lot of drivers who are in just as much of a hurry as you are. Roughly one in every three fatal holiday season traffic accidents involved a drunk driver. So what should you do if you see a drunk driver on the highway? According to Kenner Police, don't engage the drunk driver. Keep a safe distance. And if you're in Louisiana, call Star LSP. That'll put you in contact with the Louisiana State Police. Wear your seatbelt. Don't drink and drive yourself. Just be aware of what's going on around you. If, if you can do something that'll, that'll grant you those couple extra seconds to, you know, make an evasive action, hit your brakes, anything like that, it definitely puts the odds in your favor. Sergeant Cryer was hit by a drunk driver while on patrol 10 years ago. The injuries and, and multiple surgeries, and it's not a pleasant experience I would wish on anybody. Safe travels. Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News. And don't forget, click it or ticket. Police uh, across the state will be ticketing drivers and passengers not wearing their seatbelts.